Hey everybody, this is Julianne. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. Welcome to a planting with Julianne with my new sense of areas I recently acquired in my collection. This one came from Las Vegas. This one came from California. And I wanted to do a separate video for them today before I move on to different projects. I'm heading to Las Vegas in five days, so I definitely want to set them up. And at least when I come back, I can check on them to see how they're doing. And I've had a long day already. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, it's a video I just filmed planting with Julian, setting up my plant cuttings. I taught clients today. I went to dance school online today. It's just been a very long day. After this, I'm going to be pouring resin, which I think is going to be a video that I film as part of my daily vlogs. So if you haven't uh, checked out the vlog channel, go ahead and check it out because I do daily videos uh, vlogging my life and I do a lot of plant life content every day on the daily vlogs. So if you haven't checked out the daily vlogs, I do a lot of plant life content every day and I just film myself sharing my life whether it's here or in Las Vegas or while traveling with my Travel with Julian series. I think I want to maybe do this one first because the soil is not the greatest looking from what I can see and I want to see what the situation is. I just got this sense of area and I have something very similar to this. I'm just kind of loosening up the root ball and it's I checked to see if it was the same like pattern but the variegation of it is slightly different so they're just gonna live in separate planters. The cool thing about sense of areas is that they give tons of babies so they're great propagators and great for making more babies or gifting or trading and they don't require much of anything really just some good soil okay so now that I see this I don't want this junk soil in my potting tray this is gonna get dumped so I'm gonna just try to clean up the root ball and leave the nursery I'm gonna call this dirt in here and bring up my potting tray after i have one last square planter that i want to try to see if it can fit in so let's see here of course julian is making a mess but it's okay this is a working table is to get it in that square planter because I think right now that's the largest white planter that I have currently available and um, we'll see I might do some switching around in the future I am getting my nails done in six days nails are getting beat up from this but it's okay system on this is crazy Get some better soil almost there here all connected okay this is good enough for me perfect so take a look at the root ball this is gonna get dumped I don't know to me this looks like landscaping soil go last square planter today is a sitting kind of day for planting feel like I can relax 
It's a beautiful sunny day. It's so nice to be in the patio working with the plant babies before I head back to Las Vegas. It's my one weekend between two work weekends. Is there a way where you guys can fit in here? Hmm, I might have to do some rearranging here. This planter might be too small, but I'm looking at the collection if I have anything bigger at the moment. Hmm. Questionable. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Tell me you'll fit in here. Yep. Better. Okay. So complicated this root ball the way how it's growing. Let me fix you up. I like it like that. Okay. Better. That was a nice quick switch. babies but I love the fullness yeah the one that I have like this the variegation is slightly different if not I would just put them all together but I don't even have a bigger planter if I would put them together as more babies come into the collection I'll do switches if I feel like another planter in the collection would do better babies in this one I definitely don't mind selling off a few so if anybody's interested reach out to me but otherwise I'm gonna just keep it because I love sense of areas and I love the fullness of this plant but I know a bunch of you guys love to collect sense of areas as well I'm so glad I got it taken out of that ugly soil if you want to call that soil okay ta-da you look so cute that looks great. Okay, now I'm interested in seeing how this gold flame looks like in here. Now this soil I definitely don't mind reusing and mixing with mines. Ooh, a baby. One here, one here. Yay! That's what I was hoping for. Ooh, another one. Any more? I was hoping that I would take it out of the planter. Oh yes! Four babies! You guys! How exciting! Tell I definitely needed to be repotted. Look at the roots. Okay, here it is, what the root ball looks like. One, two, three, four. Yay! Mix this up with mine. I also have worm castings in here as well. I need to order more. If you're interested in the worm castings that I use, you can find it also as well in my Amazon store. I think this is going to be too small for you. Yep. So let's put you in the square. You're going to look cute in the square. Yeah, when the babies pop up, it's going to look perfect. This particular Sensevaria is considered a rare Sensevaria. Um, I maybe seen it in 
one or two plant nurseries here in California. And this was the first time that I actually seen it in Las Vegas. One of those things where you just plant shop and you randomly come across plants you never knew existed. So let's see when the babies pop up from out of the soil. There's four of them in here, so we'll have a full planter in time. Perfect. Take a look at that. It's gorgeous. That is gonna wrap up a very fun, quick planting with Julin. So as you see, I did a quick switch where I moved one of my sensitive areas out of this planter into a smaller, rounder planter because the root ball was small enough to be moved into something else. The root system of this with all the babies needed something bigger than this square. And this worked out because there's four babies in here and it'll fill up the planter when it starts popping out. So that makes me really happy. I'll go ahead and wipe down the planters and put this with the Sensavaria Collective somewhere in the patio. I like having the Sensavarias either in my studio or in my patio. I love, love having them throughout the collection. Let me know in the comments below if these are common in your area or considered rare. Uh, do you find Sensavarias attractive? I know when I first started uh, getting into plant life several years ago, I wasn't really into sense of areas because where I'm from it's very commonly used for landscape so I never found it attractive until I think maybe a couple months into my plant life then I started getting into it and then here I am with a huge sense of area collection I want to go ahead and water them because I definitely don't know when they were watered especially for this one with being in that awful soil I want to get it settled in and I rarely water my sensitive areas. I kind of water them when I water my succulents so they don't get much water. And you guys already know how I feel about the rain and my sensitive area collection. So today's plant friend shout out is gonna go to Angela and this was in regards to my patio makeover, which I can't believe it like, what a world of a difference. And she says here, yeah, it looks great. You could really hear the joy in your voice. Yes, I was so excited. And that's why I was out here helping them because I knew like if I helped them, they would be more inclined to help me. And it was just, yeah, it, it worked out so great. So I'm glad that they were able to uh, come into this space for a handful of minutes and really take care of this patio because it is so overgrown and out of control. But I'm really excited that I get to bring in two new sense of areas into the collection. And my sense of area collection is slowly making a comeback. I think I probably need to maybe repurchase 10 more uh, that were lost in the rain. And then I think I'd be back to where I was. But along the way of rebuilding the collective, I have acquired so many new ones, which is also very fun to see. So hope you found this video inspiring and relaxing. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel, Monday to Thursday, and the vlog channel, Friday to Sunday. You get a video each and every day, and I'll see you soon. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California, and my brand new sense of areas. Bye, guys.